The Doll by Archibria. Read it. Short Scary Stories. The dolls were arranged haphazardly on a rickety wooden shelf against one wall. Differing in size, they all shared a common feature. Their faces were twisted into grotesque expressions of pain, fear, or agony. Their glassy eyes seemed to follow his every move, and their tattered clothing gave them an air of decrepitude. A chill hung in the air, and a musty odor permeated the room, a stark reminder of the years of abandonment. The hotel had hired the investigator, discreetly, of course, as the latest in a long line of others of his ilk. But Jonah was a prodigy. He held an old transistor radio to his ear, listening to the static hiss. He said in a dozen languages, some dead. Reveal yourself. Words formed out of the noise, few at first, then becoming a torrent. In his mind's eye, he saw a little girl, beloved by her father, a wealthy man. Grave illness had struck her. In those days, they could do nothing to help her, and so her father turned to unorthodox means. At the spirit's behest, Jonah removed a rotten floorboard and took out the leather-bound book hidden underneath. The writing was undecipherable, but the drawings of twisted dolls and tormented bodies together with the spirit's fragmented words explained much. The poor fool had attempted to transfer her soul into a doll to save her. The rituals were gruesome. Jonah grimaced. All it had accomplished was to leave his daughter a tormented spirit filled with pure rage and the desire to inflict her pain on others. He spoke to her, comfortingly. Here was someone who understood her. He let her know. There was a choice. Stay forever, in this dark place. Or go with him, out into the world, to see all she never had a chance to when alive. He was her friend. The spirit world was no secret to him, yet he walked in the light. He was the bridge. She could come with him. He sensed grief, but also something else, a hunger for freedom. He told her about the places he had seen all over the world, places of beauty, but there was darkness too. People like her father who hurt others, a sense of rage, of burning, corrosive hatred engulfed him. Come with me, he said, and we can see all that is beautiful and punish the wicked together. Hesitation, then acquiescence. He felt the presence move, a wavering of air, attach itself to a doll, the smallest, ugliest of them. He pocketed the thing, bound it with a special silver chain embossed with glyphs, a burst of surprised fear from the imprisoned spirit, but it could do nothing. Another for his little private army of supernatural servants, he thought. She seemed rebellious, but not for long, he knew. The darker spirits in his thrall would break her soon enough if she defied him. Let's go and meet the others, he said, smirking, and left the empty room behind.